East, and we're back to Big East football. Finally, Boston College in West Virginia with 5.43 to go in the first quarter. Scoreless so far. Boston College, two opening drives that got them into West Virginia territory. Once failed on a fourth and eight. Once fumbled at the three-yard line. Recovered by Mike Collins of the Mountaineers. And now Jake Kelchner and the West Virginia offense has taken center stage here late in the first quarter. First and ten, West Virginia from its own 15-yard line. side is Walker and Robert Walker got to the corner and got to the 31 yard line from Alumni Stadium in Chestnut Hill Massachusetts sold out stadium for 8 and 2 Boston College and 10 and 0 West Virginia and it's Robert Walker trying the right side and maybe got two it's about 38 degrees here on the field that's the big concern will the hamstring hold up here early in the game I guess BC Robert Walker he's got his hands full here third down and eight a blitz. Kelchner waits. He waited too long. Chris Sullivan with a sack. Get some pressure on the punter. Sauerbrunn. He's got a great leg and he showed it again as Kenyatta Watson has to backpedal to the 20-yard line and takes a shot after about a three-yard return. He swarmed under. I remember they fumbled at the three-yard line the last time they had it when they were down close to the Mountaineer goal line. Foley and company lines up at the 23 this time. End around coming. Actually, they gave it off to Campbell. Fake the end around. Second down and three for Foley. Got some pressure, but got it across the middle to who else? <laughs> Pete Mitchell with a 42, getting 12 yards and a first down. At 13 against Notre Dame last week. That was his first of the day today. David Green. His first carry of the afternoon nets him four yards. John Nealon was hoping Foley would sprain his thumb sometime last night. <laughs> Not play today. Only about a yard on the pickup for Darnell Campbell. 115 left in our first quarter here. And if Oklahoma should somehow pull the surprise in Lincoln, this game would be doubled in magnitude. Third and five. Foley really had to zip that and turn his back. He knew he was going to take a shot. West Virginia with a return set up. Beckley, nice kick. Fair catch taken. 37-yard punt. Kelchner still at the controls. Gives it off. Walker, about three. Second and seven. West Virginia from its own 16-yard line. Baker in motion. Play action for Kelchner. That's a tough throw. And he got it in there to Jay Kearney. And both teams have had it three times. West Virginia will still have it when the second quarter starts when we come back. Scoreless so far. Big Kelchner, three out of three so far. Total yardage, it's been all Boston College with two lengthy drives that netted them no points. Kelchner wanted to go deep off the play fake and finally does. And he's got his man. Jay Kearney, that's his home run hitter. And Kearney's got it all the way to the 28-yard line, 48 yards. 48 yards later, first down at the 29. Catcher, a lot of pressure, got nailed as he threw it. Kearney's got it again. Out of bounds at the four-yard line, first and goal. Already got a 100-yard game, his fourth of the year. First and goal at the four. Kelchner rolls, wants to run with it, and down he goes. Lost a yard, Mike Mamula. Actually a loss of about a half yard. Second and goal, just inside the five for the Mountaineers. Walker got tagged after he picked. And Walker the tailback on third and goal. Here he comes, and there he goes. Stopped in his tracks. Time was zone. There's his numbers on the season. This should be a chip shot of 20 yards. points of the afternoon belong to the Mountaineers of West Virginia. Mazone from 20 has put Coach Nealon's team in front. 12.05 to go. First half. West Virginia by two. Swim travels over to Ransom in the corner. And it's
it's a touchback as he tiptoes out as West Virginia with a lead here. Auburn's season is over, and Notre Dame's likewise at 10 and 1. So, major importance, and especially if Oklahoma pulls off the upset in Lincoln, this game gains even more status. Foley on first down. Going deep. Overthrows everybody. Closest man out there was Aaron Beasley. The only six sacks all season long, as Gary said, four of those happened against Miami in the season opener. That is serious protection that his line up front has afforded him. Here comes a blitz from West Virginia. And the line picks that blitz up, too. And the pass is complete. Clarence Cannon. And he ripped it out of what could have been an interception. <laughs> and watch him intercept it from the DB right here. Mayfield thinks he has the ball. Where'd it go? What a catch. And a first down at the 42. And right back to throw it again. And Pete Mitchell is into West Virginia territory. You saw 10 of those catches by Mitchell for first downs, two for touchdowns. The other one was a nine-yard pickup, which the last one was. And on second and one, Darnell Campbell. His team is down, though, by three. 10.35 to go in the half. They fake the end around again and lost one out and complete down to the 15 to Comer. And Comer to the 13-yard line, trailing by three, but threatening here. 60% of his plays are called at the line of scrimmage. Which is where he's called this one. And he wants to throw to the corner incomplete. Intended for Keith Miller. Who Miller both to Foley's right. On second and ten, he lofts it to the end zone. It's intercepted. Aaron Beasley, who almost had one earlier on this drive, has got this one. And the Mountaineers come up with a second. And he just disciplined one of Glenn Foley's passes there. West Virginia takes over. Darren Stunt still is in at quarterback. And Rodney Woodard, Jake Kelsner trying to stretch out his hamstring as he's played three of the five series. 0 for 4 for the Mountaineers. So far on third down. This time six to go from their own 24. Stuck still in trouble. Got out of it somehow. And shows the wheels to get a first down at the 35-yard line and 11-yard scramble. And got a first down at the 35. Three wide outs. But the give is to Walker in a big hole the middle and he's to midfield give him 15 maybe 16 on the carry for the Mountaineers and just did that with a 16 yard carry first down at midfield here he comes again left side give him four more second in a long five he'll get the call again this time only about three Brian Howlett who went out like Michigan offense third down at two seventh play of the Mountaineer drive from the corner and it paid off. Joe Kamara came from the corner to nope. Miller with a fair catch and again we'll take it around the 12 or 13 yard line. The first half still 3-0. Foley on first down. Loads it and goes long for Miller. He's wide open. Breaks to the outside, throws it from his own five, and that ball lands on the 38-yard line. 51 yards later, first down, BC. Another completion this time to Anthony Comer. He's got it inside the 30. Throws outside. First down and out of bounds and stopping the clock. Watch for Pete Mitchell now. Number 82, the favorite receiver. Glenn Foley, who's yelling to his wide receivers and audible and on first down. Goes over the middle, intended for Mitchell. Double covered, incomplete. And down at 10. Now Mitchell set up as a wide receiver in tight on the right side. Foley in and out of the hands of Keith Miller. That, if you're third and 10, you might as well be the best team in the Big East on third down, which Boston College is. And Foley to Miller. It's another first down third and long to the 10-yard line. And for Keith Miller, his sixth catch of the day is set up the Eagles. First and goal at the nine. Trailing 3-0. Foley waits, and he's intercepted. Matt Tafani, the linebacker. The third 
turnover suffered by Boston College. And now they've just got 18 seconds. And they're going to try something anyway. They're going to try one deep. Into double coverage. Not quite intercepted as Joe Kamara. The, it was just a prayer he threw up there. He's five out of six here in the first half. Walker falls down on a draw play. Had a little help to make sure he fell down. We expected some fireworks. This one's been up and down the field, but when you look at the scoreboard, pretty close to the vest is West Virginia with a perfect 10-0 mark, but only a field goal in the first two quarters. They do have the lead over the Boston College Eagles. A half remaining for the Mountaineers to try to go to 11-0. can still shake down in college football this season. Right now, West Virginia with a three-point lead. And Mike Logan from the 16 on the kick return. Flags down. Face mask. Face mask. Defense. Five-yard penalty at the end of the run. They're through a long ball at the end of the half, just hoping to get an interference call. Otherwise, he's hit all his passes. Here comes a blitz. Kelchner incomplete. Second and ten. Kelchner stays in and goes deep. Almost picked off by Joe Kamara. Pass intended for Mike Baker. Third and ten. Successful only once in six previous third downs. Kelchner throws outside. Kamara almost had another one. So far today. Just barely got that one away, and he got a beauty. Watson will field it at the 48. And got back to the 45 of the Mountaineers. We'll watch the sun work on first down. Going to loft one to the sideline for Cannon. And a penalty marker will go down. Mike Logan. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Hey, I understand it's Glenn's mom's birthday, so wish your happy birthday happy for birthday, us. Happy birthday, Sue. Upstairs. <laughs> well, Ed and Sue have put us a couple interceptions. But it's just been one in the end zone and one at the one-yard line. It's prevented Boston College from really being well out in front of this game. Darnell Campbell. He's on a wing left, number 82. Third down and five. Blitz comes again. Foley. Got it out of the backfield to his other tight end, and it's a first down. Brett Gibbons, first down, probably as anybody in the country. But inside the 20 is when the mishaps have occurred today. Campbell, very close to another first down. Second and a yard. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. The biggest third down of the day for the Eagles. Don't forget what got you here. Look for Pete Mitchell, even if he's double covered. They'll give it to Campbell. First down. Did he get there? I think so. With a forward progress, a fumble at the three, an interception in the end zone, and an interception at the one-yard line. Here they are down, knocking on the West Virginia defense. Again, Campbell to the one. Faces. A 220-pound senior named Darnell Campbell, who's got 18 rushing touchdowns this year. Second and goal from the two. The pitch to Campbell. He's not going to get there. Big time hit that time by Wes Richardson. Remember, West Virginia has only given up seven rushing touchdowns this year. Third and goal. Touchdown with 2.55 left third quarter. Going right down the middle. And it was Darnell Campbell a little bit to the left of middle. From a yard and a half out, his 19th rushing touchdown of the season. And the Boston College Eagles fly to the front. Not moving his team to a touchdown. West Virginia, let's see if they've got an answer. High kick again. You may have called fair catch on this. I believe he did. Walker wrapped up 
be shocked if it's not Boyd. Second down 11. Three wideouts for Stubbs still. But he'll still hand it off. There's the first draw play of the day. Woodard dropped for a loss. Third down 11. Boyd may come on a blitz. He does. Stutz still throws on the run. And in and out of the hands of Jay Kernick. Incomplete. It's punting time. And again, Sauer run. We'll punt it away. Line drive. And Yana Watson takes it on the fly at the 36. And he's back into Mountaineer territory again. To the 49-yard line here at 7-3 Boston College with a lead of the ball. And Darnell Campbell. He's all geared up. Look at 408 yards already in this game. They are pushing West Virginia all over the football field. Second down and along four. Campbell's got the four, and he's got more than that. Winding down the third quarter. And BC driving again. First down, Eagles. Foley. In and out of the hands. Could be the final play, third quarter. Blitz, Campbell, drops right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe when the third quarter has come to a close at Alumni Stadium, but the home team now leading undefeated West Virginia. Don Nealon's troops, 15 minutes left, and they're down 7-3. A possible national championship opportunity is in the balance, and Boston College has got their offense geared up. Third down along nine as we start the fourth quarter from Alumni Stadium. Blitz coming from the Mountaineers. He's going deep. Nice coverage out there by Beasley. Here either. Nebraska 11-0. West Virginia trying to get to that level. It's a great kick. Nice coverage. And oh man, the one-yard line. Aaron Studd still will come in at quarterback again. Senior from Riviera Beach, Florida. He's in a tough spot here. on the run and oh you've got to have those catches Ed Hill just dropped it instead second and ten just outside the one broken play Stutz still got out of the end zone well that would have been a safety and a third down and nine upcoming West Virginia hasn't had a first down since three minutes remained in the second quarter Stutz still better watch out for that back line throws and it is fourth down. Three and out situation for the Mountaineers. Sauerbrunn fielded at the 39 by Watson. Watson right up the middle to the 16 yard line. Three-yard return. First and ten just outside the 16. Foley might want it all on the first play. Across the middle. It's Mitchell. Touchdown! <laughs> to try to put BC up 11, and he does. combination Foley and Mitchell have given Boston College another score and it's 14 to 3 remember the kicks have been high and short for Brett Bleeker in fact the last one had to be fair caught this time I think they're going to get a chance for a return from the 22 Vanderpool but there is no return the hang time quite frankly on these kickoffs is just too excellent from the 23 a counter is yardage. Walker goes down. Chris Sullivan. Second down, 13. Crowd is really into it now. Stubbs it. Got a nice block. And lost one out there. Incomplete intended for Kernick. And a flag down. They're going to call interference on BC. So First penalty. Personal foul. Roughing the passer on the defense. Second penalty, defensive pass interference on a defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. Now here, from the outside, Michael Reed is the guy they call interference on. Boy, that is a real poor call. I don't see that at all. First 
now West Virginia stood still out to Walker. Lofted it out there, and Walker gets 9 or 10. Finally, West Virginia gets something going on offense. Don Nealon's team unbeaten at 10 and 0, but that is a precarious 10 and 0, trailing 14 3. And I don't know if they got the first down on that run either. Third and a yard. Still stumbled and didn't get it. I don't know how he squeezed through there, but he did. Long dry spell between first downs, but they've got one here, and they've got Walker off to the races. To the 34-yard line. Robert Walker's biggest gainer of the day. First and 15. Stutz still on a quarterback draw. He got the five back. And a couple more, and then Kamara let him have it. Three touchdowns this year against Temple and Rutgers, but this BC fired up defense is not Temple and Rutgers. He's one out of six today. Now he's two out of seven, but Walker will be stopped. It's got to be Kamara, uh, got to be Mamula, and it is. Third down, 11. I like the way you do it. <laughs> Stutz still over the middle to Ryan, his tight end. He got it inside the 30, and now is it fourth down territory? 12 for 20 on the year on fourth down. Season for West Virginia may hang in the balance of this fourth and six. Ryan again. He's got the first down. Ryan's got two gigantic ones that Gary just talked about. And a first down at the 21. Stuck still. Winner is the closest man, but Brad, that blitz has been more effective versus the run today than the pass. 11th play of the drive. In desperate need of a touchdown. Stunt still throws back. Mike Baker got one hand on it, but he was slipping. Perfect regular season. West Virginia 10-0 coming into this one. Stunt still and it batted up in the air. Ted Page. Green is the wideouts for Darren Stutzko. In trouble. Throws to the end zone. And a penalty marker in the end zone will have pass interference. And it will be another first down by penalty. If did. Pass interference. Defense. A 15-yard penalty on the spot of the snap. Automatic first down. Ed Hill and Mike Baker, the wideouts here, but you got to expect maybe Robert Walker. Nope, they'll give it to Warren instead, and he goes in untouched. Boston College may have been thinking about Walker, and Rodney Woodard scoots in from the six. And now, do you go for two, Gary, or kick an extra point here? Two-point conversion attempt, trying to cut the gap to a field goal. Stub still. Intercepted. Picked off by Michael Reed. Michael Reed with the play of the game. The penalty on the interception of the two-point conversion against Boston College has given West Virginia the opportunity to kick from midfield. And Gary, Boston College is thinking onside kick. They've got all their tight ends and wide receivers, nine of them, within 10 yards. He's going to kick away. And he blasts this one out of the end zone. So it'll be the 20-yard line for Boston College. Six to go. Boston College try to spoil West Virginia's dreams of a perfect regular season. They lead the Mountaineers 14 to 9. Worst starting position of the second half for BC. But Foley stands tall as all day, and now he'll take off. Does a slide and a late hit. Steve Perkins put a helmet in to Foley and shouldn't have, but it's going to cost him extra yards. Defense, 15 yards, automatic first down. They're going to have to do it, I think, throwing the football because West Virginia has seven and eight men close to the line of scrimmage. Foley sends Mitchell in motion. Gives it off to Campbell. Richardson hanging on, or Campbell would have went off for a big gainer. The game Gary alluded to, a one-point setback to Northwestern. A yard short of the first down. Third and one coming up. Third and one. They'll probably get it one more time here. Everybody stacked up close for the Mountaineers defensively. Campbell, first down. 
David Green comes in at the tailback spot. First and 10 BC. Green. He finds an opening. A little change of pace going from rushing total. 121 on the ground. Most of it, Darnell Campbell. But Green with a nice pick up there. Second and three. Now they come with Anthony Comer. And Mr. and Sussil share time in the first half. First and ten, Boston Common. From the 32 of West Virginia. And it's number 32 again. And Campbell. Five more. And time running out on West Virginia's hopes for an unbeaten season. Loose ball. And West Virginia's covered it. The break they needed just came with 2.24 left in the football game. And coming out of the pile is Mike Logan. That helped BC get their drive going, so he got one back for them. Stuck still. Baker took a big hit. Held out of the ball. Boston College, four critical turnovers have given West Virginia the opportunity they've been looking for. Woodard. Woodard into the secondary. And the man who got the only touchdown of the day for the Mountaineers has them back. Woodard's got the ball over midfield in the 45. Stunt still. Scrambles around. He may take off here and will. And goes out of bounds wisely to stop the clock. completes it to the 24 yard line and Mike Baker has cooked up two big catches first and ten stuff still fires touchdown Ed Hill and West Virginia in front <laughs> 24 yards Ed Hill's first catch of the day, and certainly the biggest of the season for the Mountaineers. Bump and run coverage, and you have your back to the quarterback, and you don't see the ball. You're at the mercy of the ride receiver. He sees it. You don't. You stop. Make the catch. Give yourself and a chance, your team a chance for the national championship. Got to pick up two. Walker and Woodard in the backfield behind him. He rolls out and throws, and he's got his man. And it's a three-point game. He got it to Jay Kerning. 17-14 Mountaineers. And now we have got 68 seconds of electricity remaining at Alumni Stadium. The kick to Ransom at the two-yard line. They need some field position. And boy, did they almost have more than that. Foley was brilliant in the drive a week ago. Calmly taking the Eagles down to that field position for Gordon's kick. Let's see how he does this time. Too far for Clarence Cannon. West Virginia's in with their dime look. They've got six defensive backs in the game. Foley, great catch. That was not an easy catch by Anthony Comer. Uh, he should take a timeout. It's Foley on third down and 10. Fires, completes it. And it's going to be good enough for a first down with forward progress for the Eagles. 17 seconds and less left. Foley fires. Man there. Out of bounds at the 40 to Michael Campbell with 10 seconds left. First down, 10 seconds left. Foley going deep. It's going to be intercepted. And the Mountaineers will win. Mike Logan and West Virginia's perfect regular season is safe. Don Nealon and his Mountaineers for the second time have finished a regular season with an unblemished mark as they did in 88. They've done it again with an interception on the final play of the game and they beat Boston College a come from behind 17 to 14 win and Don Nealon said, I'll find you, Jerry Punch, if we win this game. For Gary Danielson, Charlene Hawks, Jerry Punch, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Brad Nestle.